For a long time, Grand Highland, it depended on the river. If the weather turned bad, ferries stopped. If the ice got thick, travel slowed to a crawl. Doctors, deliveries, workers, everyone waited on the Niagara River to cooperate. Life moved when the river allowed it. And that changed. That changed in 1935. That year, two steel bridges opened at the same time. One reached south to Tonawanda, New York, and the other reached north to Niagara Falls. Together, the North and South Grand Island Bridges connected the island to both shores by road for the very first time. From that point on, Grand Island, New York was no longer cut off by water. Each original bridge measures about 3,400 feet. That's a little over a half a mile, or 1,036 meters. They were built as steel through arch truss bridges, with the roadway set 93 feet, about 28 meters above the Niagara River. That height was practical. It allowed ship traffic to pass underneath and gave the structure enough strength to handle ice, current, and heavy vehicle loads. The bridges were built by the American Bridge Company during the Great Depression. These, they were not meant to be temporary crossings. They were built heavy, tall, and strong on purpose. Engineers expected them to take punishment, and they were right. Across the country, many steel arch bridges from this era, they're long gone. They were taken down and replaced when traffic grew or maintenance became inconvenient. The Grand Island bridges survive. 